Robert. I realize I'm alive. Hey, good afternoon, fellow bears. My name's Thick Bear, and I'm here to bring you the Bears Man story. I don't know why I'm here to bring you. Look, we're gonna check out the Bear Man story. If you guys have not seen this, even better. But I remember this was the first the video I ever recorded using YouTube, and my setup was terrible. <laughs> Not saying it's much better now. We have here the Bear Man. I feel like it's a typical gay bear relationship back in the 90s, which makes it very special. You guys will notice this from the clothing they wear and the music they play. So let me introduce you a bear story. Thomas Chadway, actor, died Wednesday, June 12th at the age of 52 of natural causes. T-A-U-S-E-S, yeah. Chadway, best known for his films of the 70s, was discovered by movie producer and longtime collaborator Michael Tallridge. Hello? Yes. Yes, I know. I know. I know. Yeah, I... Okay. Mm, that sounds so All good, right. though. I'll be there. Go get some milk. Hey, we going to a bar or a funeral? Well, for me, they're kind of the same thing. Yeah, I actually get the think camera. that actors are ripping their costumes just to torture me. Every morning I come in, at least six or seven major costume repairs. And I'm not talking about the leads, it's the chorus. Well, maybe they think they're doing you a favor. I mean, if they didn't rip their costumes and they didn't need to be repaired, then you wouldn't have a job. All I know is I need more than a few drinks tonight in order to face the damage in the morning. Well, maybe we could leave early and get your rest. <laughs> you know, I don't know why I let you talk me into going to West Hollywood. Uh, it's good for you. Besides, it's <laughs> Brian's birthday, and you haven't even seen him in weeks. You know, it's just that I was really hoping that he would just want to go to dinner and a movie. We can't always go to a movie. It'll be good for you. You'll have fun. Trust me. You will. Don't you worry, he'll have fun. I never been to a bar like this before playing this kind of music. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> I just don't understand the upbeat vibe of this bar playing this music. <laughs> First of all, the curtains in the background. Come on, man. I'm not saying I'm an interior decorator or anything, but no. <laughs> Stop. But probably for the 90s, that was definitely the fashion back then. I don't know. I did go to the bars when I was in the 90s. Here we go. No, I, I can't stay very late. I've got a lot of work to do. Please. They'll still be dead tomorrow. Hey, there's Brian. Hey. Hey, guys. It's my birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, no way. What did you do? Oh, my God. I had no this. idea. What? Come on, show him. Oh, hey. Does it hurt? No, I have to see him beer. Oh, God. So just for those of you that get a tongue pierce, have y'all ever swallowed the ball or the dice or whatever they put on there? Because I feel like that's a very common situation that happens. <laughs> I don't think people get many tongue pierces because of that now. <laughs> How fast does that go through your system? <laughs> Work with him at the studio. He's loaded. Oh my gosh, how are you? <laughs> hey, John, it's Robert. I realize I'm alive. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. That girl's leaking. Sorry, this is where I gotta edit out the music. I know. I'm sorry. I'll leave a description of who it is uh, if y'all want to check it out. Showed me a picture of you two on the roller coaster at Magic Mountain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brian's an asshole, man. First of all. <laughs> I can only shy away. 
It's a pool party for the bear. I know you'll have a good time. How many of y'all been to a bear pool party? <laughs> I don't know, but evidently they're having a pool party. This John guy thinks I should go. What do you think? You're asking me? That's a switch. Uh, you don't think I should go, do you? No, I didn't think so. Here, go see mommy. Well, I think you should go. I think he likes you. And besides, you need to get out more. What is with everyone lately? I get out. Look, me, outside, now. No. I mean you need to go out. I you mean date. No, thank you. Your brother's hot, though. I love my friends, I love my family. And I go, oh, you and Lisa, and Mary Pat, and Joelle, and Therese, and Ariana. What I every mean... gay man needs, a harem and a baby. Look, you just need to go out more. That's all I'm trying to say. But it's a pool party. You know what that means. Bathing suits. Cement ponds, chlorine burn. I don't have a thing to wear. Shut up. Just go to the party. Yeah, first of all, you don't need bathing suits at a pool party. I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you can wear as minimum as possible and be accepted at the bear pool party that's what's great about the gay bear community <laughs> why don't you go to the party you're always such a big hit at parties damn damn it I wish you went <laughs> Anybody remember their first time going to a bear pool party? The memories. Hey, it's uh, ten dollars for the pool party, and actually, it's a free if you want to join the bears. Join. Hey. Hey. Leave him alone, Mike. Robert, it's okay. Yeah, uh, you're my guest, and it's my house. Great house, by the way. Thanks. Uh, unfortunately, I have to watch the table for about an hour, but uh, why don't you go on inside and make yourself at home, and I'll find you when I'm done. I wonder who's under that table. All right. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Here are the villain members of Florida. Man, that guy's feeling it, though. Ah, that guy's feeling it, though. <laughs> Kansas anymore kind of way, yeah. The go-go dancers come on at four. Hey, guys. Drew's watching my shift. And you're not swimming yet. Well, there would actually be too much chance of me getting some sun. It's kind of in my job description. You know, milky white, the only ghost must type 60 words a minute. Gotta get more cake. I'm sorry. Wait, hold up. Did he... Hang on. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did he just set that cake down? Type 60 words a minute. Gotta get more cake. Yes, he did. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that, because as the membership manager of the pool, there's like two people there. to give all the newcomers a massage. And I only work in the pool. And since you're the only newcomer, get in the pool. Come on. You know you want to. How do you know Brian? <laughs> oh, he's a friend of my friend Rick's. I don't really know how they know each other. How does he work for you? Oh, my assistant went on maternity leave and we got him out of the temp pool. Believe it or not, he's really good with numbers. Hey, I'm trying to hook him up with one of the uh, production on. accountants on one of our shows. Oh my God, that would be great. He really needs... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What 
are you giving me, mouth to mouth? God, I love the bears. Mm -hmm. Towels, towels, oh, towels. towels. There we go. Yeah, you gotta get the towels out there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know what I mean. <laughs> Look at you, you are so cute. What, I'm not anymore? Are these your parents? Yeah. And that's Thomas Chadway, the actor, huh? Right. You know, he just died. I know, my dad found him. Oh my God, John Talridge. You know, it never even occurred to me. You're like second generation Hollywood. Fourth, but who's counting? Did they find out what happened to him? Yes, he choked. Like on a sandwich? Like on a condom. Thomas, mm -hmm. among other things, was, uh, a bit of a player, but he he would believed in safe sex, which is kind of ironic. I'm really sorry. Okay. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm not glad he's dead or anything, but he could be a real son of a bitch. So wait, your dad's gay? Yeah. Wow. And you? Yeah, I'm gay. No. <laughs> no your parents, are you out to them? You know, to be honest, I don't think it was ever really much of an issue. My mom found my Judy Garland scrapbook when I was eight. <laughs> I was more of a sci-fi buff. I had a Star Trek scrapbook when I was 10. <laughs> Lots of pictures of William Shatner. You know, you have a lot of guests. We should get back out there. Well, that's okay. They can take care of themselves. Besides, I like hanging with you. Bears do like William Shatner, though. How do you feel about naps? Strong believer in them. I've always felt that you should have a freaking Newton and a blanket at three. Three? We're late. Ah, oh, you're almost there. <laughs> Aww. That's definitely me, man. I every year probably seven times a year i get these horrible allergies and when it hits it strikes so hard and it's funny because i used to be allergic to cats but no i'm i'm not allergic to all cats <laughs> but my partner would take care of me so well and that's the way he would treat me <laughs> but man he would give me hell after <laughs> <laughs> what is that? It's a cost report. I'm sorry, I hate to bring work home. But I have to look at this before tomorrow. This movie is going way over budget. It's okay. Actually, I think it's kind of interesting. <laughs> to be honest, I never really thought about the fact that what I see up on the screen costs money. I just kind of thought it was magically there for my enjoyment. Kind of like you. Hey, I may have to go up to Vancouver to check on this film. Why don't you come up with me? We could have the whole weekend there. Really? Yeah, I'd have to work a lot on Thursday and Friday, but we could have the weekend. And I could take you to the... He's going to choke. Really? Yeah. Think you get time off? Actually, that's kind of the beauty of oh, my that's work. Cool. I, could, I could work anywhere. But I would insist on splitting the cost. Don't worry about it. The studio's paying for the Ooh, hotel, and fancy. I have frequent flyer mileage. Hmm. But I'd have to figure some way to have you pay me back. No. <laughs> 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 uh, have you ever done that? Has that ever happened to you? No? Yeah, with you, I would believe it's happened. Huh? It's time for what? Star Trek. Oh my gosh, that's my cue. Oh, okay, Robert, so you're cool with taking the minutes for the next Bears meeting? Absolutely. Oh, and Chris, thank you so much for helping me with the Bears for Bears beer bust. I think we're going to raise a lot of money. You know, I had no idea that the polar bears were in such danger of becoming extinct. Oh, that's what you, you talked about earlier beer? at the beginning. I do. 
So, six months, and he still won't watch Star Trek with you? It's I'm fair. fair. I won't watch Hello, Doll. I've never seen Star Trek. Set boundaries. But I have seen William Shatter. Please. <laughs> I'm on to you, mister. Oh, you damn, that's how my partner, partner gets me. <laughs> Come on, admit it. You'd watch it if it were a musical. It's true, you could always have a course of kicking thing on. Ooh, sounds painful. <laughs> so, I think it'd be a really great idea if you moved in with me. What? I mean, come think about it. You're, you're here almost every night anyway, and besides, I, I hate waking up when you're not here. You just like the morning sex. Is that a crime? Call of the bears. Yeah. It's just that's such a huge decision. I mean, you may not even like living with me. I'm so sloppy, and you're so neat. We'll, we'll get a maid. And I could put another desk in my office. It could be your office, too. Hey, you could start writing that uh, that book of celebrity obituary. What's the problem? Oh, there's no no problem. It's just, just a big decision, that's all. Oh, look, I want you to move in with me. What do you want? <laughs> ice cream. Uh, you guys want some ice cream? Yeah. yeah. It's so nice you could finally find the time to come visit us. You've been <laughs> hanging with the bears. We don't get to see you anymore. Oh, fine. Now I'm getting out That's too much. That's what happens. No you get distracted. Happy. How was your weekend? Great. I uh, graded some papers, uh -huh. changed some diapers, <laughs> did a little laundry, graded some more papers, and everything else. <laughs> Straight life. Oh, shut up. So how's John? Oh, I thought it was Great. Doug. Is John? You move in with him. Do it. You need to get out of that neighborhood. I love my place. Ever since Norbert and Frank got mugged, I don't feel so great about it. Besides, you've lived there since college. This is not the point. What is the point? What if we do this thing and it doesn't work out? There's a good chance it won't. Maybe you should take up knitting. What, you don't want to move in with him? Oh my God, of course I do. I love the fact that he is the last person I see at night, and I love the fact that he is the first person I see in the morning. You just like the morning sex. Is that a crime? So what's the dilemma? You want to sample more of the bear pond? Is that it? No, so with the tadpoles. With you, it's just a fact that I never thought I would ever feel this way about somebody. And I never thought anyone would ever feel this way about me. It's too perfect. That's what it is. It's too perfect and it's got me scared. I keep waiting for the other shoe to drop. You like John, don't you? Yeah. He likes Star Trek <laughs> and he can fix my computer. I'd marry him. Look, I remember when I was getting married and I was freaking. Mm -hmm. Who told me that I just had to follow my heart and trust that it would all work out. Well, now you're going to hold that against me. Sometimes you got to follow your own advice. Besides, look at me now. Looks good on him. <laughs> Bro just made it to heaven. Oh, hey, your first time here? Uh, uh, yeah. Hi, I'm Robert. Tim. Tim, hi, I think you're going to have a great time. Uh, now it's a ten dollar cover unless you want to join <laughs> and it's free. I'll join. Hey, great. Hey, Robert. Oh, yeah. Mike. Good, good, good. Um, this is Tim. He wants to become a member. Hey, Tim. Hi. Okay, new member. Uh, first of all, most importantly, is it that easy though? Come on. Whatever. I'm gonna have to give that a try. <laughs> That's easier than dealing with the apps. I'm gonna have to mute the song. Oh, what a crazy day, lazy day, what? oh, what a picnic. You sing in your sleep. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. Yeah, I'm happy to watch this one again. It's cool. Oh, well, I hope you guys got to enjoy that. I enjoyed that. No, but... The thing about the gay bear relationship, it's not as hard as what some people might think it's going to be. I think straight relationships are harder than gay relationships, to be honest with you. That's just kind of, that's an opinion, okay? It's not a fact. It's just a very strong opinion. <laughs> it's nice to watch this again. I'm glad you guys were able to join me on this one. You guys have a great day. Big whoop to all you guys. Have a good one.